Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the essential topic of keeping your Mac apps up to date. In this video, we'll explore why updating is so important and guide you through different methods to keep your Mac apps in shape. But before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you never miss out on our content. So let's start with the why. As our apps age, they become more susceptible to security risks and may start throwing compatibility tantrums with the latest software. Nobody wants to deal with crashes or expose their system to vulnerabilities. So, the secret to avoid this frustration is to keep your apps up to date. Now, we know that's easier said than done, so we're here to help you keep those updates flowing to ensure a smooth, secure, and hassle-free Mac experience. Before we start, let me know down below in the comments, how do you usually update your apps? I would say the easiest way to update your apps is using the Mac App Store because it keeps all of your app updates in one place, making it easy to manage. However, it's important to consider that you only have the option to update the apps that were previously downloaded from the App Store. If the app was downloaded from a third-party website, the App Store will not show the updates for it. But don't worry, I'll show you how to update these other apps in a second. As for the App Store apps, the only thing you need to do is click on the Apple logo on the top left corner of your screen, then select App Store and click on Updates on the left. From here, you can click the Update button for each individual app that you want to update or the Update All button to update all apps at once. Now, there's also a Turbo Rocket method which allows you to quickly update all your apps at once. The trick is to download Clean My Mac X and use the built in updater module. I've included a link for Clean My Mac X down below in the description so it's easy and free for you to download it. After the download is complete, make sure to open the app, head to the updater feature from the sidebar, and select the app you want to update or just go all in with select all. There's also a way to sort the apps by last opened or by last updated. After selecting the apps, you only need to click the large update button and that's it. It's like giving your Mac a refreshing boost with just one click. Moving on, I know that not all apps live on the App Store because some of them are downloaded from the developer's website and don't show up on the App Store Updates tab, which means that you will need to update them manually. Good news is that usually you receive a notification once an update is available, then the only thing you need to do is click the Update Now button. But some other apps don't offer update notifications, so you might need to dig a little bit more. I'll use 1Password in Google Chrome as examples. For 1Password, simply open the app, click on its name in the menu bar, and choose Check for Updates. Now, to update Google Chrome, it's a different game. Click the Chrome drop-down menu in the top left corner, select About Google Chrome, and Chrome will look for new versions and let you know if you're up to date or not. If there's an update available, you simply hit the Update button and that's it. Also, remember, for those smaller apps, a quick visit to the developer's website might be in order. And before I move on to show you how to set up automatic updates, if you find a few apps that you no longer need while updating, make sure to watch our video How to Uninstall Apps on Mac. There are a few tricks that we would love for you to learn. And last but not least, for the efficient folks out there, you can enable automatic updates on the App Store. Simply open the App Store and go to App Store Settings from the menu bar or press Command comma on your keyboard and select Automatic Updates. Just enter your password to allow the changes and that's it. Also, don't forget to check your third-party apps because some might have their own auto-update settings hidden in their menus. Usually, you can just click on the name of the app in the menu bar and select Settings, or again, press Command Comma on the keyboard and look for an option that says Install Updates Automatically. In 1Password, for example, you need to go to Settings and then Advanced. And there you have it, our favorite ways to keep your Mac apps fresh, secure, and hassle-free. If you find these tips helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you'll stay in the loop for all things Mac. Thanks for watching, 
and we'll see you next time.